welcome back to the Ponder Dive YouTube channel. I am Turk with Scuba with Turk and I have something very exciting for you today. It's not this. This was my baby. I had this for about six years now maybe. Um, absolutely love this thing. It's been a workhorse for me. I have more dives in this than I do in the single tank back mount. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're talking about the total side mount system. Hard to see here. From use in some. This is a collaboration between Andy from UK Sump. Way to go, stupid. Many of the people out there might know Andy or have seen his products. And he partnered with Usen uh, to put out this total side mount system. Uh, I have some of this using most of the total side mount system parts. I did also use some parts from Andy's Pathfinder harness series. Two exactly. When you get this stuff, this is, it comes in, you have the wing, it comes with a box of parts, the harness, and some bungee. The box of parts is a box. Now the Pathfinder series harness from Andy at UK Sump, I'm gonna be putting together one of those as well, and I'll show that to you guys once I have it finished. But real quick, before we move on to the total sign out system, I wanna show you these quick connects. These things, this is a quick connect dot drop D ring. Absolutely amazing. So you got your harness, you have your drop D ring, and maybe you wanna switch it out onto another harness you have. No problem. You take this, fold up your webbing, and slide that on there, like so. Do the same thing here. Pinch the webbing, pull it through, and now you have a drop D ring. And these things do not move. Don't like that one? Want to get another one from Andy? and don't want to take your harness apart, pinch, pop off, done. No more taking your entire harness apart to fit on parts, to change parts, which is always a pain in the butt. Big shout out to Andy for being so innovative, especially in the side mount market. I love guys that are gonna push the envelope like this and tinker around with stuff and create new products for us that should have existed a long time ago. But on to the total side mount system. So as you can see now, this is in its testing phase right now. So I haven't cut all this bungee. You see some loops here and stuff. I'm still dialing this in a little bit, but this is the wing. This is the Explorer 37 wing. They have a 30 and a 37. Let me just, let me just talk about one of my favorite parts. All right, so here I have the harness on. It's not fully attached, I don't have the cross strap done. But let's look at one of my favorite pieces on here, which is the inflator. So depending on where you want it, across your chest, uh, I know Andy likes his on a bungee around his neck, up here. You have the option when you're diving to move this. It is completely rotatable. Boy, are you fat. which is absolutely amazing. Sometimes I dive mine like this and like, ah, I feel the cylinder up against it, don't really like that. Slight adjustment, done. I love this aspect of it. It's very low profile, as you can see. I also have the quick release buckle on here, which is super nice. Now this back piece, this is extremely durable material. I love this especially if you're going to get into any sort of penetration in wrecks or caves. Uh, this is a wonderful piece of material on here that I think is really going to hold up well. As you can see, it has two dumps. It has a right side dump, and it also has a rear dump. They are both, they're both very low profile dumps, and they work extremely well. I was worried about this one on my right side. How am I going to reach it? Is it going to be trapped in my cylinder? It's not. 
This little string, it comes up right here. It sits right on my side, just above my cylinder. I roll a little bit and pull. Perfect. I still use the rear dump a lot because I am used to the X-Deep's uh, rear dump. But this is a really nice setup. I really enjoy this. On the 30, it only has one dump, but it has the side. It does not have the rear dump on the 30. So it comes with multiple plates. You have your top attachment point, and then you have a lower attachment point, which is, if I can show you this here, you can't really see it, but it's this piece right here. And that allows you to thread your waist buckle into it and your spine strap. And then this is a Y harness. They have a Y harness and an H harness set up. So I have the Y harness attachment points here and here. You can see I got my weight pockets on here. These weight pockets, how are those attached? These weight pockets are attached with one of these. Again, a quick release strap, pinch it in, just like I showed you with the drop D-rings, put some bungee into these holes, and then you attach it onto your system and wrap the bungee around the weight. Weights are done. I have the drop D-rings here, and again, like I said, I have the quick release belt buckle, which is amazing. There's two ways you can attach this. One is you suck it in, click it in, exhale, and it's nice and tight. There's no adjustment. I have mine set up before I can adjust it a little bit. So we'll put this back on. Let's just go with the waist strap. So as you see, I got a little bit of play here. So I pop this in here, nice and quick. And then I take this, <clears throat> pull it snug. Now, I'm nice and tight. To get out of it, done. Amazing. Uh, can't believe it's that simple. Why didn't they come up with this before? You do notice that I have fixed D-rings. Everyone that knows me knows that I have fixed D-rings. I do not dive sliding D-rings. I don't agree with them, but I will say this. Andy has some really nice sliding D-rings. So here is the sliding new ring. This would go into your webbing. Thread that on. So now I have my sliding new ring. It sits out really easy to clip on and off because it doesn't lay flat. So there's no way to miss this. It'll move a little bit, right? But it's not going to lay flat like sometimes our other D-rings do. This tool is not moving. But when I want to move it, I can. Yeah, so over here, it's hard to do with this on, but move it, doesn't move. Move, and all I'm doing is turning this buckle this way, so I rotate it towards the back of me to push it forward. If I need to move it back a little bit, I push it forward and rotate it back a little bit. But then once it's locked in position, it's locked in position. So if you're using sliding your rings, my opinion, you shouldn't, but if you are, go check out Andy at UK Sump. You can find him on Facebook. I'll put the link down in the description below. Pick up a set of these. These are amazing. Again, like I said, this entire kit comes in pieces. To some of you who maybe never threaded a harness before, it can be a little daunting. I'm not going to lie. I saw the material, laid it all out, and thought, oh, how am I going to do this? Where do I start? It's really hard. Once you get your hands on it and start looking at the pieces and laying them out on a nice big table as you can be wearing it, it all comes together pretty easy. There are a couple of items you have to kind of figure out for yourself. Uh, if you look on the internet, you're going to see a couple people who have done videos on this. Uh, one of them is, Def is Vas Proud um, from Divers by Design. Now he set up an H harness. A H harness is a little bit easier to get in and out of. I've not worn one yet. I personally like this Y harness setup. Um, so it's a little difficult to find any instructions on it. Uh, I do believe that Houston Sump's gonna do a little bit of a better job of instructions on how to assemble this coming in the future. But, again, once you start laying everything out, you'll notice how it all put, goes together. Now I have mine bolted with this amazing cool little piece that they've designed to bolt the top in, and then I have the bungee bottomed. I've seen other people bolt the top and bottom. Uh, I've seen some people that only bolt the bottom because this upper attachment point is really high up. 
Typically what it would be on a normal side mount rig. So it just kind of depends on how you want to dive this. There's multiple ways of doing it. I would think that you would want to get, if you're new to side mount diving, get with a proper side mount instructor who dives predominantly side mount and help them help you walk you through it when you do your side mount course. They have these really cool little bungee pieces here. Now this is this one actually is for the H-style harness. Don't mind this, it's just broke. I didn't have my knot tight enough. That's why we test things. This is actually for the H-harness, so you can run a chest strap from here to here in the H-harness. I put it on just because I had them. They're black, it's cool. I also have the Quick Connect shoulder D-rings here with three pieces for clipping off three individual sections. If you want to clip off something here in the middle, the right. Um, now, I didn't use these as the typical Quick Connect. I could, like you would have with this piece, clip it in here, fold this in, right? Like this, I could have done that, but I did not. I decided to actually thread it through. Um, probably a mistake on my part, considering I'm gonna use these as my Pathfinder harness once uh, I decided to put that together, but that's okay. Um, I do like these quite a bit. They don't move at all. I've had 11 liter, full 11 liter cylinders clipped to them. Uh, no sliding at all on them. I do like the fact that they have three compartments, essentially. One here, one here, and one here. As you can see. So I could clip off my reg to the far right if I wanted. I could have a backup light in the middle and something else on the left. Wherever you want to do it, however you want to do it. That kind of compartmentalizes things and makes it easier as far as muscle memory of where they are. They're not shifting around on you on the, during the dive. So kind of a cool design. I've seen that in other places, but uh, I like that a lot. This wing is really nice. It hugs the body quite good. Uh, I do like on my x deep. Sorry, I knew we were going to, I said we were going to talk about that. I said we were going to talk about this. On the X-Deep, I have one of the original UK sump bungee bands, bungee connectors. I loved this thing when I first got it. Absolutely fantastic. Actually, I still love it. But, innovation, baby, innovation. Now we have a cave arrow that attaches the bungee. So let's put this on again. This time we'll go the full Monty. We're going for the full Monty. The full Monty. Now, I would typically put this in my crop shop. I'm not gonna do that right now. k Vero, bungee. Boom, beautiful. Absolutely love this. And then this is gonna get attached up here. Like I said, I have to redo that because it just broke. But no problem. Bungees are here, exactly where I want them. They hook into these cool little pieces on here. And if you can see that, if there's two holes in here in these pieces on the side, you put a little piece of small bungee so you can always find your loop bungees. And if I run this down, like it's supposed to be, whoo, it is hot in here. And yeah, the air con's on, it's still hot. So, there's that. Got my weights on. And let me dump the gas out of here. There's my weight. Now, I haven't made some adjustments to this just yesterday after my dive, so I'm not sure if this is exactly where the end product is going to look like. Again, I am making minor adjustments to it, kind of figuring out what works best for me. But this is what it looks like. There's that side dump. The rear dump is right here. Really nice. I think anybody would be able to reach this, I believe. I know some people have a hard time reaching it on the X-Deep. We'll see. And then... No end that! Put a little bit of gas in it. There you go. 
I really like the action on these dumps too. It just feels good. It feels really nice when you're dumping the gas out of here. These D-rings again are sweet. Bungee off. I let's see my crop strap. And now I'm out of my harness. Easy peasy. A super nice anodized plate here. This is uh, well, anodized aluminum. I know it's aluminum. And I am going to take some video of me in the water and I'll let you guys see what this looks like. But I wanted to give you a quick update on what I'm going to be diving from now on. This is my new baby. Bye bye, XT. Listen, I want to break up. So if you come here to Planner Dive here in Ahmed Bali, you will see me wearing this. This product from Yushin and UK Sump. So shout out to both of those companies for partnering up on this, having a collaboration to put this out on the marketplace. These are fantastic. I don't have a lot of dives on it yet. I've only got two dives on it. Um, but I love, or no, it's three, sorry, three. I do love what I've seen thus far. I have not seen any negatives yet. But we're going to continue to dive it, and we'll touch back on this later when I got 50, 100 dives in it. And then I'll let you know what I think on that. Really good product. Check them out. Come here. Check me out diving it, and we'll see you soon.